Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, good day everyone. The topic is about the introduction to mathematical economics and economic models. I will explain about the nature of uh, mathematical economics first before talking about the economic models. And you know, since uh, mathematical model or economic model in particular consists of uh, equations, the talk about types of equation will be just as important as the talk about the ingredients of the model. Lastly, we will talk further about one type of uh, equation, the most important one in economics or economic models, namely function or behavioral equation. Okay, we begin with uh, this basic question. Certainly, mathematical economics is not a branch of economics. Math here is an approach or tools used in economic analysis. And as in any other field, this is also the purpose of uh, theoretical analysis in economics. We have three keywords here, assumption or postulates, process of reasoning, and conclusions or theorems. Then, what makes mathematical and literary economics different? Well, they differ in the three keywords I just mentioned before. Both assumptions and conclusions in mathematical economics are stated in symbols rather than sentences. Look at this uh, simple illustration. There are information about my purchase and Mrs. purchase on books and pencils. Literally, the information can be stated just like that. Moreover, the conclusion can be stated likewise through literary logic and using words, although it is likely less accurate. In math, the similar problem is stated using some symbols, and once the relevant assumption or information is obtained, it is stated explicitly. So, as you can see here, we have two relevant informations and are stated clearly like this with symbols PP, PB and PP in replacement of price of book and pencil respectively, the statements now look more concise, precise, and more organized as well. It also allows us to use mathematical logic or reasoning, the if-then process, to find the conclusion. Given the information, the problem is to find how much you should pay to buy a book and a pencil. Mathematically, the problem is uh, stated like this, and using of, uh, mathematical theorems, we can find a more precise and accurate answer. MD should pay 30,000 rupiah. So to sum up, here are some advantages of using mathematical approach. I have shown you the first three, and now how about the fourth? Well, people may think that geometrical approach may be sufficient, but the more we learn about economics, it's apparently that is not uh, the case. Mathematical approach beyond the geometrical approach is still very much needed. In market model, yes, we can draw demand and supply of one commodity in a two-dimensional diagram, Ceteris Paribus, but what if we want to detail the non-price factors in our analysis? What if we want to deal with two, three, or more interrelated markets altogether? Indifference curve, optimization problem, input-output model, and many other things in economics are involving more than one variables, and even more. So, without mathematical approach, the analysis that economists can do would be very much uh, limited. Having understood the nature and the importance of uh, mathematical economics, let's now talk the main thing to do in the subject. You know, to understand the economy, we need models. We need economic models. Model, as in many cases in our life, is the simplification and the representation of a real and complex thing. And with the advantages of a mathematical approach, the economic models will be better formed in mathematical models. So here we are now talking about uh, mathematical economic model. We'll be talking about the uh, followings. Model is not the same with equation. In its structural form, mathematical model usually consists of more than one equation. In particular, 
mathematical model may contain different types of equation. There are three types of uh, equations as follows. Identity or definitional equation, the first uh, equation as it is called, is a definition or an identity of things. For instance, profit is defined as the difference between revenue and cost. So no matter when and where, profit is always equal to revenue minus cost. As for behavioral equation, we have uh, different variables that behave in a specific manner. Function is an example of a behavioral equation, and unlike identity equation, behavioral equation shows unique relationship, not definition. Cost function of firm A for sure is different with firm B, despite both are affected by number of output, for instance. Utility functions of two individuals will also be different. You and I may like uh, watching movie, for instance, but how big the satisfaction is from watching movie will be different between us. Lastly, we have a conditional equation. As it is named, the equation is a condition or a requirement for a specific condition to happen. Equilibrium is a specific condition that can be achieved, for instance. Maximum profit is specific condition too. Even maximum grade that you can get in uh, one subject is also a specific condition that can be achieved by satisfying a particular condition equation. Okay, to make it clearer, let's try to identify the types of equation in the two simple models in economics. Look at the equations in each model. We have uh, behavioral equations here. Demand and supply are both functions of price level. Different market for sure will have uh, different demand and supply equations, although the variables are the same, Q and P. We also have behavioral equations here. This is the example of a household consumption function in one particular economy. Again, even though that the variables may be the same, different economy will have different households behavior. Examples of uh, conditional equations are these equations. Both equations are conditions or requirements to achieve equilibrium in a market and in an economy, respectively. And lastly, we have uh, this identity equation. In a closed economy, no matter when and where, aggregate demand is always the summation of C, I, and G. Now, uh, let's turn our attention to the model ingredients. Basically, we have two elements, constant and variable, with clear uh, definition here. A coefficient, it is uh, actually a constant too, but it attaches to a variable in the equation. Constant and coefficient can be expressed uh, numerically with number or with parameters. And with parameters or symbols, constant and coefficient now have a variable characteristics. They can have any value. But please understand this. Once the value of constant and coefficients are determined in one particular function, the values are fixed. Hence, they are parametric constant and coefficient, or simply called constant and coefficient in nature. How about variable? Variable is the main attention in mathematical model, especially mathematical economics model. There are endogenous and exogenous variables. To identify them, we have to look at the model, not the equation. Which variable whose solution value is determined or calculated inside the model? Which variable whose value is determined outside the model without calculation or accepted as given? Please don't mess up with uh, dependent and independent variables. These variables are elements of a function. Inside the model, we have to find the behavioral equation or the function to identify them. Then, what we're doing uh, next is to identify them in each function. Okay, let's again return to these two models. 
Finding constants and coefficients in numerical function like this will be easy. We have uh, Q and P as our variables. Then the rest must be constants and coefficients. Now, how if we have this equation instead, or these equations? Since we still know the variables, which are usually clearly defined in economic models, Q and P again in the first model, and all symbols but C in the second model, so the other letters or symbols must be parameters representing either constant or coefficient. Parameter A and C are the constants, then B and D, as well as C in the second model, are the coefficient. Lastly, how do we determine our variables are endogenous or exogenous? Well, it's not about finding the position of the variable in the equation, left or right. It is actually about finding which variables whose magnitude or values are obtained inside the model and which are just obtained from outside the model or taken for granted. In the first model, we are apparently looking for the value of equilibrium Q and P. Then P and Q are obviously our endogenous variables. Since they are the only variables we have and both are endogenous, in the first model, we don't have any exogenous variable. In the second model, on the other hand, what we're looking for is the equilibrium value of Y and uh, the national income and also see the household consumption. Then it's clear both Y and C are the endogenous variables. And the other variables, usually symbolized with small caps O in economics, are the exogenous uh, variables. Okay, I stopped the first video presentation here. Please watch the next video about uh, functions. Uh, thank you very much for the attention. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.